from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventure. From the mountains of the Great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week, Americana Outdoors Wade Middleton and Clark Wendlet will show you how to choose the right fishing rod. But first, we're heading to Texas Sports Hall of Fame in Baylor University, Waco, Texas, for the annual Cast for Kids event. We're having a big gala affair here tonight at the Texas Sports Hall of Fame. This is our first annual Cast for Kids Celebrity Bass Tournament and fundraising dinner auction. So we've got some big fishing celebrities in Waco, and it's really a big deal in this community to have Hank Parker, Jimmy Houston, Roland Martin, Gary Yamamoto, Alton Jones, Keith Combs, and you know we got several top pros here, and uh, just a lot of wonderful, wonderful people in the community here supporting our foundation. It's great. Our mission is to share the joy of fishing with disabled and disadvantaged kids, share with them a quality outdoor recreational experience on the water through fishing. That we've been around 20, this is our 26th year. We really want this thing to scale out all across the country and reach tens of thousands of children each year. This year, we'll take about 4,000 kids fishing across America. Uh, this is a fundraising event that it will help us to put on several more events around the country. This is a really cool event. It's probably the biggest fishing event that's ever come to the Central Texas area. And we have some of the top named pros in the history of bass fishing here. And, and this is one of the few times where you can actually bid to go fish in the boat in a tournament with one of the top named pros. This is a sensational event. I mean, you can get uh, guys like Roland Martin and Hank Parker to come down on the 4th of July weekend and go fishing and take somebody fishing and help raise some money for so a lot of kids will be able to go fishing. It's absolutely incredible. I'm just so uh, thrilled that my buddy Jay Yellis asked me to be a part of this. Not all kids have that opportunity. Not all kids are, are able to fish. Uh, not all kids have people that can take them fishing and a lot of them are, are you know they've got illnesses sicknesses uh, in a wheelchair whatever so it's difficult to get to go fishing and that's what makes this important raising the money to be able to do that and, and and you know that's the whole crux of the whole deal right there there's kids with handicaps there's kids with that are mentally challenged there's kids that have all kinds of disabilities and it's a lot of trouble to take them fishing it's a lot of trouble to put on an event for them but Cast for Kids take that time and trouble to accommodate these kids that so many people overlook. I know that I'm lucky to be able to go fishing for a living. Uh, you know, people are, people are lucky just to be able to go fishing. And, you know, uh, but to, to introduce a kid or a kid that just has no opportunity to go fishing, I mean, that's a special deal. That's something that I do every chance I get, you know, whether it's an event like this or not. And I mean, I, I hope I hope others will do the same thing because somebody took me fishing uh, and now I make a living doing it. You've like all heard idea. Jimmy laugh when he catches a fish, but really, <laughs> I hear him laugh all the time when we're not even with the camera on because we both have a passion and we can both anticipate the next cast and the next fish. And that's the beautiful part about fishing. I don't care if you're 70 something years old like I am and Jimmy is, hey, you can still anticipate and have fun thinking about what's going to happen on the next cast. So that's the joy of fishing. And that's, and that's what we want to teach these young people. That's kids. what these kids are going to that's experience. It. That's right. That's right. Hey, now, if you'd like to be a sponsor for the Cast for Kids programs or donate to help provide disabled and disadvantaged children the opportunity to enjoy the sport of fishing and boating or want to volunteer in the events, please go to castforkids.org. It won't win a beauty contest. Might win a fishing contest. For 85 bucks, you can bring it all without spending it all. Cabela's Advanced Angler's Tackle Bag. Great price. Lifetime guarantee. Only at Cabela's. Engineered to excel, the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series are built for the ultimate ownership experience. It's a commitment to excellence packed with real-world advantages and exclusive features. Experience the accelerated performance standards of the legendary Ranger Z series. From first light to last cast, they're put together to set you apart. Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. 
Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is brought to you by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Yamaha Marine, reliability starts here. And by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. We're in Waco, Texas for the annual Cast for Kids. The event is designed to provide children with disabilities the opportunity to enjoy a quality outdoor recreational experience through the sport of fishing. Today, we kick off the event early in the morning with an inaugural Celebrity Pro-Am Bass Fishing Tournament. This is gonna be a phenomenal event because it's gonna help so many kids be able to get out and go fishing because that's what CAST is all about, catch a special thrill. You can just see it in the faces of the kids, how excited they get, and they have events from coast to coast, from the, you know, from all the way out on the west coast to the east coast, Texas, all the way up as far north as you can. So this is an organization that's nationwide and it's designed to help these kids get out and go fishing. You see all the people that are here in Waco right now and there's folks that have donated everything from fishing trips and hunting trips and product as well as putting on this awesome tournament where you've got some of the biggest names and celebrities and bass fishing that have been bidded on as well. So there's so much going on here in Waco and it's all designed to help raise money so more of these kids across the nation can go fishing. Just getting started, beautiful summer morning here at Lake Waco in Texas. And uh, we're trying a little topwater fishing around the bank this morning. It's a uh, good morning to catch one up shallow. It's kind of cloudy, a little breeze rolling around and just good to be out on the water. I'm really excited to be out here with these two guys and out here with Cast for Kids. It's my first time at Lake Waco and my first Texas fishery and I'm using a river to see square bill and really confident today. Oh, oh she's got a big one. Whoa, yeah. oh, look at him. Oh, take it easy. There you go. Yeah, yeah number two. Awesome. Give me five. Thank you. <laughs> Don't get too anxious about setting the hook, you know. People are so anxious, they get a bite and they try to set the hook. These fish think it's food and they're not gonna let go. So if you give the fish a little bit more time, you might catch him instead of missing him. <laughs> That's the little tip that I have for you today. I'm not gonna give you too much because then you'll be beating me every time, so. <laughs> We're just kind of like the opening act. The headliners are at the ramp. So we're just kind of opening up for the headliners, the, the kids, for the casting kid event that's gonna take place in just a little bit. So you take a kid that we say is a special need kid, let's drop the needs and just say special kids. And that's what we're doing. We're fishing for special kids. And they're gonna be back at the ramp and their tournament's getting ready to start, and that is what is the headline of this whole deal. You know, everybody here was, you know, all, all for one reason, and that's to raise money so that more kids across the nation can go participate in these, you know, Catch a Special Thrill Foundation events, and then Everybody goes out and starts catching fish this morning and then lo and behold, here about mid-morning this monstrous thunderstorm comes in which probably put a big damper on all the young kids up there fishing, uh, doing their little event because, you know, they had a cast for kids event, you know, scheduled at the weigh-in site and it hit probably about the middle of that. We're all hiding under boat docks and bridges and dodging lightning and now it's, you know, kind of the day's about done, but it's been a great day on the water. We, we've actually got a limit and caught quite a few fish. You can donate, sign up for volunteer, and find out more about Cast for Kids events near you at castforkids.org. Americana Outdoors will be right back after these messages. Meet the water's lightest 25 horsepower four-stroke, the all-new Yamaha F25, the new standard in 25 horsepower portable four-strokes. 
At just 126 pounds, it's got the best power to weight ratio of any 25 horsepower four stroke on the water. With performance that bests the previous Yamaha F25 and features like Yamaha's VTS for precise trolling speeds, batteryless EFI, built in resting pads, and carry handles, it's the perfect portable power for small boats. Quiet, you sons of fishes! Now, what? I'm switching sonar. Why? Because th now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by PowerPole, swift, silent, secure. Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy. And by Arctic Ice, we put the cool in coolers. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Cast for Kids Foundation is the largest fishing charity in the country, joining volunteers who love to fish with disabled and disadvantaged children for a day of fishing in the outdoors. Since 1991, over 100,000 chronically ill and disabled children have been introduced to the joy of fishing. Well, we're out here at our first annual uh, Lake Waco Cast for Kids event. Um, started out really well, beautiful weather. Um, all the kids caught fish. Um, we had bluegill. We've been baiting this area for like uh, 10 days and throwing range cubes out and stuff. And uh, so the kids were catching catfish, bluegill. We even saw bass caught, most of them on live worms. Okay, you got it? All right. <laughs> and then the storms came. We had a typical Central Texas system come through and thunder and lightning and we bailed everybody out, got underneath the gazebo and it poured and poured and poured. Um, but you know what? Um, the kids got, to, we got under there, we ate all the rest of the donuts we had on stock, we ate all the hamburgers and uh, finally cleared out a little bit. We still got some kids out here catching fish. The catfish are really biting now after the storm. You guys had a little bit of a rain delay, huh? We did. Going back after it? We are. Heldar, tell them how many we caught so far. I caught me four now. Four. You bet. Good going, man. Going after number five. The goal of the foundation is to introduce families with special needs children to the joys of fishing. And we've definitely done that today. Man, these families had a great time. I've talked to several families that, man, we've got a pond at our house and we never do this, you know? I mean, we never knew how. So that's what we're all about, introducing families to the joys of fishing and getting in the outdoors. And we get these kids all their rods and reels and tackle boxes and, and just hope that uh, they go back out and do it again. But we're gonna be back here again next year and uh, hopefully some good weather and we'll have a good time with these kids. Hey look, he's got whiskers, see his whiskers? Yeah, whiskers. Quick, throw him back in the water. Throw him back in? Okay, you ready? Yes. There he goes. He's, he's alive! He's alive! Oh, 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 he's on, he's on there, I think. Wait, 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 Did you all hear that? Each child is called up to the front of the group one by one with their with their volunteer boater that helped them fish and they, they get to talking to the mic about their day, the big fish they caught or the one that got away and and just tell about their experience. And it's that alone is just a huge opportunity and a growing experience for these kids to be able to be honored in front of their peers and in front of their families. And when we took a picture here a minute ago with that big fish that Alton Joe's partner caught, weighed at like 857, that little boy was holding that fish and when he gets him a girlfriend a few years from now, if he holds that girlfriend like he holds that bass, she will love him forever. And his eyes was as big as that bass's eyes and, and then that's what it's all about. You know, the kids have had a ball out here today. The, the, the older kids, uh, like me, we've had a ball too. <laughs> 
With an impressive three fish limit bag of 18.14 pounds, Team Alton Jones and the anglers that bought him the auction, Brian Toby and Dylan Bearden, win first place and take home $10,250. Congratulations. You know, what a fun event as you see here wrapping up. And, and I gotta tell people at home, you can volunteer to get out and help cast. Whether it's at an event that you can help put on near your home lake or whether you're a volunteer to just come support it, these are events that just need volunteers. They need people to get engaged and be involved all over the nation because the end result, you're seeing it. Kids smiling, people having a lot of fun, passing on traditions that are out there. So you have to really take your hat off to the cast group and so many other people that we can't mention them all that got involved and helped make all this happen. So make sure you volunteer or donate something to cast. It's a great foundation that passes it on. Special thanks to all the celebrities and volunteers who participated in the inaugural Celebrity Pro-Am Bass Fishing Tournament and Cast for Kids event. Remember, you can always donate, sign up to volunteer, and find out more about Cast for Kids events near you at castforkids.org. Well, coming up, we'll show you the easy way to pick the right fishing rod for your next fishing trip. There's two things between an angler and the fish, the sun and the bugs. Sawyer's line of sunscreens and bug sprays keep you focused on the fish. Sawyer's Stay Put Sunscreen Formula bonds with your skin for a more comfortable and better level protection. And Picaridin Insect Repellent will only harm the bugs, never your fishing gear. Also, Sawyer Permethrin repels and kills on contact over 55 species of insects. You're already outdoors. Sawyer keeps you there. From the makers of Bubba Blade comes the Bubba Blade Fishing Pliers. No matter where you're headed to fish, this tool will become an integral part of your tackle box for many years to come. They feature our patented no-slip grip handles, just like our Bubba Blade knives, ensuring that this tool will stay firmly anchored in your hand. In addition to the handles, these pliers feature a super tough cobalt cutter and convenient split shot and leader sleeve crimping cutouts. The ultimate in control, strength, and durability, Bubba Blade. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, has been brought to you by Sunline, the strength to guarantee your confidence, Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife, and by Angle Coolers, rugged, durable, high-performance marine coolers. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Hey, picking the right fishing rod for your application could be the key to successful fishing. But when you walk in the store or shop online, it's not always easy when there are hundreds of rods to choose from. How do you pick one for your application with, with no understanding of what uh, that rod's gonna do without some ba uh, background information? That's one of the coolest things about the Cabela's XML Rod Series is the Cabela's Pro Staff has spent a lot of hours on the water helping to design technique-specific actions to the entire rod lineup so that Maybe not for all of it, but for most of it, you can just simply pick that rod and know that you've got what you're looking for and head out on the water and find success with the exact application that you needed that fishing rod for. You know, when you start looking from tip to the, to the rod butt on the, on the XML series rod, you're looking at guides that are designed to help you have, uh, you know, longer distance casts, but they're also going to be designed to be able to stand up to the punishment of fishing uh, that you're going to be putting them through because, you know, bass fishing is pretty hardcore hand-to-hand -hand combat in a lot of scenarios. You go down a little bit further, the, the reel seats uh, are designed to handle reels and, and be able to really cinch them down and to handle the torque, to handle the pressure, to handle the situations that you're going to be using while you're fishing. The blanks themselves, they're extra sensitive, very lightweight, and designed to be able to not wear you out while you're casting, but also provide great castability for accuracy and long distance for any of the applications you're looking at. The grips, I absolutely love them. I mean, they're soft, and tacky to the feel. Even when it's really wet outside, you feel like you're in control of the rod all the time. And you look at the split grip, that, uh, to me that gives you a little sensitivity. Your finger can easily be in a position to feel direct contact with the, uh, the rod blank itself. I mean, just when you look at this entire rod series, you're looking at a well-built fishing rod designed to help you be more successful when you're bass fishing. You know, the Cabela's XML Rod Series is something that 
uh, myself, Clark Winlet, and other members of the Cabela's Pro staff have spent a lot of time providing input back to the staff at Cabela's to be able to design rods that we've got confidence in uh, while we're out on the water. You look at Clark Winlet's resume as a top touring uh, professional for years. I mean, he has to have the best when he's out there competing against the best. You know, what I really do when I'm picking a fishing rod is, is I look at the action that the manufacturer puts on the rod. On the XML Bass, it's a technique specific rod series. So if it's a flipping application, it says flipping on there. If it's a drop shot rod, it has drop shot on there. It's got everything that I probably would need when I'm fishing. And so I look at that and then I tailor it to myself. 95% of the time, the technique specific rod is gonna be perfect for me. Every once in a while, I might throw a little bit lighter swim bait, so I might want a little different rod. A little heavier bait, I might want a little heavier rod, but for the most part, it's perfect. You know, for me, the components in a rod that I really look at to me is how heavy the rod is. I want the rod to be light where it doesn't wear my arm, elbow, shoulder out. Because when you have that rod and you're casting all day and you've got a lot of weight on it, it puts a lot of pressure on everything. And I've had problems with my arm and elbow before, or you know, when rods were different. Rods are a lot lighter now. They're a lot quicker. So basically, I like the weight of the rod to feel really good in my arm. You know, sensitivity is really crucial when you're trying to feel for a fish. Now, it's a lot more important on when you're fishing something slow because you want to feel the bite and then set the hook into the fish. You don't need nearly as sensitive a rod when you're actually winding something because that fish is going to actually eat that bait. You want him to eat it all the way and then for the most part, he's going to hook himself. The XML series has figured all that in. So I know when I pick up a rod that the sensitivity is going to be perfect. You know, the backbone of a rod is, is really critical. And a lot of it, it isn't just when you're actually fishing, when you're actually, you know, working your bait up and down. A lot of it is, is that the backbone of that rod, you need it to be stiff enough to get a fish out of cover, but you want the tip to be, have a little bit of flex to it because you don't want to just jerk them out of there. The other part of that is, is that castability is really affected if a rod is too stiff or if a rod is too limber. You want to be accurate with your casting. That's crucial. The XML Bass has you covered there. You know, for years I've had used cork grips and, and I always was sold that, hey, cork grips are better. These grips on the XML Bass, I would go to them in a second right now. It's, it is my go-to feel. It, even when it's raining, even when it's, you think it's going to be slick, it's still tacky to your hands. You know, to me, those grips are the perfect grip for a fishing rod. And finally, the lifetime guarantee on these rods that Cabela stands behind. I mean, that's a legendary program that's going to help you have confidence that you're picking up a, a fishing rod that's not only designed for the technique that you're looking for, but one that's going to be able to last you for a long time. You know, the Cabela's XML Rod Series is all around great fishing rod for anybody's application. So the entire lineup, you know, you're going to find rods from 7 foot 9 to, you know, 6 foot uh, 10. And you, you know that you've got a series of rods in your hands that's basically going to give you an advantage. How awesome is it to have a series of rods that uh, you as an angler can can look on the on the butt and basically it says exactly what the technique is is that uh, that rod is designed for. And the coolest thing is that that technique that's listed on there, there's other applications with different series of fishing out there that you might be able to use it for. For instance, I often use the big umbrella rod for flipping heavy mats and on the, on the other side of that, I may downsize with some of the other rod series, even though it says specifically that it was designed for one thing. That's why this entire rod series is so unique and so diverse for people to be able to just go in, pick one, take it out of the water and find success. Visit a Cabela store near you to check out the all-new XML Fishing Rod lineups or find out more information at cabelas.com. Hey, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a Careco TV production. Trusted and used by the most experienced sportsmen to keep their game cold and fresh, Arctic Ice is the most reliable and longest lasting reusable cooler pack available. But you don't have to be a serious hunter or extreme fisherman to enjoy all the benefits of Arctic Ice in your cooler. Whether it's road trips with the family, weekend tournaments, or backyard barbecues, 
Arctic ice will make sure your cooler stays ice cold for days with no mess. Arctic ice, no hassle, no mess, colder than the rest. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. Ingles got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers, go with the original. Kobe kayaks provide the ultimate lightweight fishing platforms that will offer anyone what they want when it comes time to hit the water. Hobie Kayak's commitment to innovation, quality, and owner satisfaction is unparalleled in the industry. So when it's time for you to go kayaking, remember there's only one name to remember. And that's Hobie Kayak. When I talk about Sunline, I think of one word, confidence. Sunline FX2 is what I use for all of my frogging and flipping. SX1 braid, which braid plays a little big part in, uh, in fishing line. Shooter, I'm gonna use in those close quarter deals, like flipping and pitching. One of my favorite techniques in fishing the tournament trail is to fish offshore ledges. We have taken the, the questions out of the equation. Take my word for it. It works, it works, dude. Hey everyone, Gil Pro, Dean Rojas here, and all of last year, I really enjoyed wearing my FG21, which I have on right now. Well, coming up, we have a brand new color. As you can see, we have a new silver color. I want to tell you about the FG21 jacket. The coolest thing about this jacket is the Vortex hood. All day long, it does not matter how much it rains, you're going to stay dry and you're going to stay warm and in turn, help you catch more fish. Here at Big Bite Baits, we've got a big line of different plastics, and you know they're all a tool, so you want to have them with you all the time. I made several checks in crowded areas, flipping that right there. Just a six-inch Big Bite Crete tail worm. Here at Big Bite, we came out with four brand new colors this year. All four of these colors are going to be great fish catching baits. Definitely my number one go-to bait that Big Bite has out right now is the Big Bite Battle Bug. Big Bite is leading the way when it comes to innovation and colors. Combining the best of old world craftsmanship with state-of-the-art technologies to bring fishermen everywhere a fishing rod that's feather light, extremely sensitive yet remarkably durable for any fishing condition or situation. Denali Rods, tournament tested and tournament tough. From out on the water, straight to the grill, and everywhere in between, Americana Outdoors has you covered. Our newly designed website features instructional videos, product reviews, and cooking recipes from some of the top contributors in the business. For even more Americana Outdoors content, sign up for the monthly e-magazine, featuring the latest outdoor news and trending topics in the industry. Don't miss out on your chance to learn from the pros. Visit AmericanaOutdoors.com now.